Hello, this is Hoffman Trifle Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can uh, easily set up a very effective light system in Blender and have the lights effectively follow your model or your subject in your scene. Now, right now, we have a cube, and this technique works for any version of Blender, it doesn't matter what version it is. But we have our cube here. I'm going to create, like, maybe, let's make three light sources. So I'm going to press Shift D, drag this over, Shift D, and drag this over. Then you're going to hold down your middle mouse button to pivot. And we're going to change our lights to different light sources. We can make this one the sun. Turn this one the sun. And the reason why I'm doing this is that so you can see uh, where the light is pointing. Let's click on this. Make this spot. Click on this last one and let's make this area. Now usually in Blender, if this was your model, you want the light to be focused on your model. You know, you'd have to rotate and uh, pivot and so on and so forth and try your best to make sure you get the light pointed directly onto your model. As you can see, I just moved this light by holding on the left mouse button. I'm trying to make sure the light is, is on my subject here. And it looks from this viewpoint it looks like it is but when you go to the top sometimes it doesn't really uh, seem like it's on your model let's do like with this one and we have situations like this where you're trying to make sure that your model is lit properly it could be tedious trying to make sure the lights are pointing in the right direction so the easiest way to take care of that is this uh, you're going to press shift in your keyboard and you're going to choose you can choose plain axis or arrows. I usually use plain axis. Left click on that. I'm going to scale it up. Press S and scale it up. Go back to the move gizmo. And I'm going to name this as empty just for the sake of, you know, keeping track of what's in my scene. So I'm going to double click here and call this light tracker. Light tracker. Enter. Now I'm going to click on the light source first. Hold down shift and left click on our empty, then press control T on your keyboard and track to constraints. And when you've, once you've done that, you click on your empty, anywhere you move your empty, that light's going to follow it. You see, did it turn this back to a, oh there it is, okay. I thought I turned it back to a point light, but this is the sunlight. So you grab your empty, and because you can see the relationship line, this blue line is the relationship line between your uh, subject and your empty. And when you move your empty around, the light source moves around with it. To get a, a more obvious, uh, more obvious representation of that, let's click on our spotlights. Hold down shift, left click on the empty, and press control T again. Try to constraint, and you can see that the spotlight automatically zooms in on the empty. Let's click on our empty, G on the keyboard, and you can see that the spotlight and the sun are following our empty. Let's do the same thing with the area light. Left click on the area light, hold down shift, left click on our empty, control T again, try to constraint, and the area light zooms in or connects to our, our empty. Press G on the keyboard again, and now they're all following our, um, our empty. And this, this helps a lot when I click on my cube here. Let's, let's color these lights different colors. Let's make this one, hope this is not freezing up. Okay, let's left click on that and make this blue. Click on our sunlight, make this yellow. Click on our, what's this, the area light and make this green and we're going to go into our viewport pre by pressing zero and split our window left click and drag and in our viewport we're going to change the shading to Eevee let's see what it looks like here okay let's make our background black click on that left click drag this all the way down you can see the yellows there. They're not extremely bright. You can see the yellow is on our uh, cube here. And 
once we want our lights to zoom in or focus on our subject because they're all connected to the empty, all we have to do is just move the empty. And that automatically zooms in on our model because our empty is what we're using as a focal point for our lights. So that's the easiest way and most effective way you can use empties in connecting to your light source so that the light sources are, are tracking the empty. So wherever you move your, your uh, cube, just click on the empty and drag it with your model. And then that's it. So that's how you can use uh, effectively set up a simple light tracking system in Blender effectively. And that's today's quick tip. I want to again, I thank you guys who have been watching the videos. Hope this was helpful to you. And thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel. Uh, thank you guys who are subscribing now. Those of you who uh, have subscribed in the past. And those of you who will subscribe in the future. Really appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.